Hello students, today we will be drawing the microscopic structure of thyroid gland. So, you should understand that thyroid gland is divided into a number of lobules and each lobule contains a number of follicles. So, let us begin by drawing the follicles. Now, remember each follicle is not round, it is somewhat oblong. So, draw the follicles. Now, let us draw the epithelium lining the follicles. This epithelium is usually simple cuboidal. So, draw each cell somewhat cuboidal in shape. Now, let us begin to stain these cells. Okay? So, they are light pink stained cells. So, stain them light pink. There, you have got three follicles. What is the next thing we should do? We should draw the nuclei. Remember, this is an active cell. So, the nuclei will have to be open faced. Take a look. Begin to draw the nuclei. Draw them tidily, do not hurry. Draw large rounded nuclei. There you have got three follicles with simple cuboidal epithelium lining it. The next step is to color the colloid in the center since the each follicle will contain colloid in it. So, let us draw the colloid. Remember to draw it a slightly unevenly and then use your finger to stain it out a little bit. The edges of the colloid can be drawn scalloped. So, lighten it up. It is not evenly stained. Now, think if this is your thyroid gland, it is an endocrine gland. That means it has no ducts. Then how does the secretion uh, get released? The secretion gets released into capillaries. So, now we need to draw capillaries very close to the epithelium like so. Okay? Draw the simple squamous epithelium lining the capillaries. Draw the flattened nuclei and draw a few RBCs indicating that these are capillaries. Right? Now, let us think that follicles will not float in air. They need connective tissue to support them. So, let us draw connective tissue in the form of a few fibers, a few uh, fibroblasts, collagen fibers, elastic fibers. Now, this connective tissue obviously also contains ground substance. So, to start staining the ground substance, do not make it too dark. Use your finger to lighten it up later like so. There, your thyroid gland diagram is almost complete. Why do I say almost? Because we still need to draw the parafollicular cells. You can see that in this diagram, the basement membrane on which the uh, follicular cells are resting is not well visualized. But between the follicular cells and the underlying basement membrane, we can draw two light staining cells like so. Okay, remember they are very light staining. And then the nuclei. And there you have your parafollicular cells in place as well. And that completes the diagram of thyroid gland. Now you have to label it. Remember to label it neat and tidily with every label lying outside the field of your diagram.